Hello, I'm Noah Nerd, and I'd just like to talk today about a project I'm working on now with a, a team of others to create for Play Canvas, which is a WebGL JavaScript engine, a, an, a FPS starter pack that you can fork on Play Canvas to so you get the, the template for creating an FPS. So I'll talk very briefly about what the idea is, what I've done so far. So you may have seen, if you follow my channel, I did a series of tutorials on how to basically set up a prototype FPS. And I've decided to build on this project now and open it up to uh, others so that I uh, just have support and just not be doing it on my own. So we've got a few people on board already. We've got about uh, four others, I think, currently, doing programming, uh, graphics, music, and sound. So we've got a small little team assembled now. And the plan is basically we're going to create a few different levels. We're going to include, improve the scripting overall. Uh, and then once it's finished, people will be able to fork the project to start off their own uh, Yes, from a starting point, basically. Sort of like in the React world, you have like a Create React app, which gives you everything out of the box you need to get started rather than to worry about. Sort of like that. Not fully like that, but sort of same principle, I suppose. Uh, I'm also hoping to make a website which will have step-by-step -step documentation for each part um, so basically it'll like describe what's going on in the scripts it'll contain some documentation it'll there'll be different uh, plan is at the minute as well as to create individual levels where you basically can select it from a main menu and you can just teleport to that level immediately so you could just see different sorts of environments, like we want to do a generated terrain environment, which is what it currently is, where it's generated procedurally with a script. Also, just do a general outdoor area, and uh, thinking of doing an interior scene as well. So there's a few different examples of different types of scenes. If you have any ideas about any of the scenes that might be useful, please leave them below as well. But yeah, um, I'm going to keep this short, snappy. Uh, what do you think of the idea? Do you, is there, if you, would find this useful as any um, additional functionality that you would think would be useful uh, working on like improving the already existing code base uh, like i did it quite fast i did it in a week just after work so it's still there's still lots of areas to be improved but now we've got a small team it should uh, progress forward quite well hopefully uh, we've already had some changes done and i only really opened it up yesterday but yeah, so this is um, the project itself is called FPS Project Starter Pack now on Play Canvas. Uh, you can fork it now if you want, but I'd probably uh, probably best to wait till we've like finished it off, I guess. But you can fork it now if you want to have a look anyway, and just and you obviously you can look in the code if you want to on the editor if you want to view. But yeah, that's all. Uh, leave comments below if you have any like ideas or things you'd like to see, features, and I'll consider like adding them to the feature list. And I hope that'll be useful for someone to use. And I think that's all about all I've got to say. So I'm gonna sign off. Uh, like and subscribe if you like this video. Uh, most of my video tends to be tutorials and code reviews and code overviews on my side projects on general web dev and game dev work stuff. It tends to be a bit of both now at the minute. It's like a bit of web dev, a bit of like more f fun game dev stuff as well. But yeah, so that's all I've got to say. I've been Chris, thank you, no, no, nerd. In a bit.